Picture this, ancient scientists in India, working with liquid mercury. You know that shiny, deadly metal? They weren't scared, they turned it into medicine. How? No one fully knows. But here's the thing, people still swallow these formulas today, and science is stunned. Let's go back 800 years. A dusty text called the Rasaratna Samukhaya spills secrets. It says they could grind gold into dust so fine it floats on water. Gold dust for medicine? Sounds crazy, right? But wait, in 2022, a lab tested it. That gold? It's nanoparticles. Tiny. Modern cancer drugs use the same tech. Ancient nanoscience. Let that sink in. But mercury? Deadly, right? The CDC warns don't touch it. But these alchemists, they boiled it. Mixed it with herbs. Made it safe. A 2018 study found their method removes toxicity. How? We're still guessing. Even NASA studies their texts for material science. Yeah, NASA. Now, here's where it gets weird. A man named Nagarjuna, part scientist, part wizard, wrote about turning copper into gold. Folks called him a fraud. But his formulas match chemistry's stoic iometry, the math of molecules. 1,500 years before the West figured it out. Coincidence? Or did he know? And this isn't history. Walk into an Ayurvedic pharmacy. Ask for Swarna Basma. They'll hand you gold ash. Doctors use it for arthritis, asthma, even depression. 25% of Ayurvedic meds use metals. But here's the kicker, no one's died. How? Their purification ritual, Shodana, is a mystery. A sacred mystery. So, were they geniuses or did they have help? Texts describe metals as a living. They group them like a periodic table. Sound familiar? Mendeleev made his in 1869. These guys, 500 AD. But the biggest question, why did they hide this? Buried in coded poems, rituals, myths? Maybe the truth was too dangerous, or maybe we're not ready to know. Want more Forbidden Secrets? Tap subscribe, join Universal Insights. We dig up what history buried. Smash that button. Because tomorrow, we're revealing how they cheated death, and you won't see it coming.